My name is Andrew Thompson. I'm an assistant professor of environmental science and engineering at Caltech. So I'm an oceanographer, and I specifically study turbulence in the ocean and fluid dynamics of the ocean. It's always sort of been assumed that the ocean was sort of the, the stagnant or less interesting component of the climate system. Most of the carbon dioxide in the climate system is actually stored in the ocean. And so understanding how the ocean is actually able to store carbon has a really big impact on our climate. And then a lot of the problems that we think about are, are somewhat more direct. It is very simply that the ocean is warmer than the Antarctic ice shelves. And so if we understand how the temperature in the ocean is changing, we can start to say a little bit about what the stability of those ice shells will be and how they might change in the future. So I got involved with KISS when uh, I actually ran two workshops in one year. Uh, one was based on ocean interactions with ice sheets in Antarctica. The second was focused more on the technology side, thinking about how to actually observe the ocean. Ocean robotics is a new tool that the community has been using to try and explore the different regions of the ocean and be out there for long periods of time to sort of capture the changes that are happening. The workshops really have an opportunity to bring experts outside of Caltech and JPL. I think what's unique about KISS is they really try to bring in people that think about problems in different ways. It was actually bringing a lot of engineers to the problem, people that have thought about how do you put robots under ice, even if they weren't asking the same questions about how the, the ocean was melting. And that was really eye-opening, because a lot of things that I think the oceanographic community thought you just couldn't do the engineers were able to say, well, we've thought about that before. Actually, we can do that. One of the exciting things about bringing different people to the problem, it became very clear quickly that there were analogs here of how you might actually go out and do planetary exploration. And so starting to think about how robotics in Earth's oceans can, can provide test cases for how you would do this in other places in our solar system has been very exciting. This idea that there are just large parts of the ocean that not only have people never been before, but almost never even thought about before. And so it's very exciting to think about the ocean as one of the last unexplored places on Earth.